Well, this is where we're starting our walk today at the Naze, which is in uh, Walton on the Naze. <laughs> so, this is the Naze itself, and that just gives you a bit of information about the history of the Naze, particularly during the various wars we've had. We were walking around some of these places and hopefully transmitting there. And uh, the main thing of the Naze is its tower. And that hopefully will showing the extent of the tower. We'll get a better view of the tower later on. The gear we will be using today is the KX3 uh, external speaker, chest table, backpack, the counterpoise there, and uh, and the whip antenna, of course, which you can see there. Okay, the gear is now on, and what I'll show you is just where we're going to walk. We're going to. This is where we are now. We're going to walk up along the cliffs this way, then back through this wood along here to this area here, and this strip here is where these anti-aircraft guns were used during the Second World War for shooting down the V1 flying bombs which came over here towards London. So that's the plan and then when we get here I hope to get down onto the beach and walk back along back here along the beach. The tide is in at the moment, a bit too much water at the moment but back to here and then back up here so a, a, a sort of an elongated uh, circular walk. Well, we've started our walk now, just <laughs> just gone 50 metres, but we've got to the edge of the cliffs and we're walking along. You can perhaps see uh, what's uh, happening down there. That's uh, a new sort of a walkway. We're hopefully coming back along there uh, towards the end of our walk. Yeah, I don't know if you can see it. You'll probably see it from over here. But uh, yeah, the cliffs are eroding quite rapidly here. Big storms in winter and it's soft, uh, very soft sand and shale and gets eroded quite quickly. So here we are, edge of the cliff, I'm not going to go any closer. And uh, that's the uh, bit, of, uh, bit of sea defences they put in there to try and protect the cliffs a bit. So I'll twiddle around the down as I'm walking and see what I can work. Well, we've just come off the open grassland park, starting going through the woods. Here's a World War II uh, pillbox and a little bit of information at the side. So we'll walk up to it and have a look at that. Not having much luck with the <laughs> QSOs, though I, I have been call, uh, trying to get a Lebanese station, uh, Oscar Delta 1 Zulu Zulu, I think it was. But uh, no luck, obviously a big pile up there. So here we are, what does it say here? An infantry pillbox. Yeah. There we go. Well, I just snagged my antenna on the overhanging trees here. I thought I'd actually snapped it, but it looked like it only just pulled one of the segments out. But it made a, a, a slight snapping sound. I think it might have been one of the small twigs or branches of the tree that broke off. But there we go. So I've taken it off the pack and uh, we'll walk down until we get to some clearer ground. Zero Mobile, is that correct? Is there a Golf Zero Mobile? Yes, Golf Zero Sierra Bravo Whiskey Pedestrian Mobile. Golf Zero Sugar Boston Washington uh, Pedestrian Mobile. Roger, Golf Zero Sierra Bravo Whiskey Mobile, is that correct please? I think so. That is correct, but I am not in a vehicle not in a vehicle, using my legs, and I am walking. I am walking pedestrian mobile. QSL? QSL pedestrian mobile. I've done plenty of that. Uh, we just came in from a two-hour two, uh, walk along the Asia, Asia Peninsula here. Uh, very, very cold. And uh, enjoy your walk. Best wishes from the island of Shetland. 73. 73, old man. Good luck. Okay, I'm coming off the seawall there now. 
going to walk across this brackish water and then hopefully this, this leads down onto the beach. Golf Zero, Sierra Bravo. Golf Zero, Sierra Bravo. Give me your call. Yes, the call is Golf Zero, Sierra Bravo Whiskey. Sierra Bravo Whiskey. Sugar Boston, Washington. Sierra Bravo Whiskey. Uh, QSL? Golf Zero, Sierra Bravo Whiskey, QSL. Uh, my uh, 9 Alpha 1 Bravo Hotel India. Good afternoon, sir. Uh, your report is 59. Five nine. Five nine. My name is Robin, like Romeo Oscar, in, uh, <laughs> Oscar Bravo India. My QTH is Dubrovnik, Croatia. Dubrovnik like Delta Uniform Bravo Romeo Oscar Victor November India. Kilo. How do you copy? Golf Zero Sierra Bravo Whiskey. Uh, thank you, the 5 and 4, old man. Yes, the call is Echo, uh, sorry, <laughs> Golf Whiskey Sierra Bravo Whiskey Mobile, and I am QRP, uh, not in a vehicle, using my legs and walking. So microphone back to your man. Echo Whiskey 1, Mike Mike, Golf Zero, Sierra Bravo Whiskey, Pedestrian Mobile. That's great. Congratulations on low power. I'm using 100 watts. Echo Whiskey 1, Mike Mike. Good afternoon, bye bye. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, QRZ, this is Lima Bravo 4, Foxtrot Hotel, looking for any golf. Golf Zero Sierra Bravo Whiskey Pedestrian Mobile. Uh, there's a mobile station, a golf, uh, golf uh, mobile station. Yes, uh, Golf Zero Sierra Bravo Whiskey, uh, Sugar Boston, Washington. I am pedestrian mobile, transmitting whilst walking, and also QRP man. Microphone back to you, Lima Bravo, question mark, Golf Zero, Sierra Bravo Whiskey, pedestrian mobile, QRP. Roger that, Golf uh, Zero, Sierra Bravo Whiskey, stroke, uh, pedestrian mobile, okay, beautiful, we hear you there, it's a bit weak, but um, your signal report is about, um, about uh, 3x7, 3x7, QSL. Uh, thank you for the 3x7, old man, your signal report is 5x8. A five by eight. Oh, heading towards the end of the walk now. Up there you can see the uh, the top of the Nays Tower with the English flag on top. Some of the cliffs, very soft cliffs, they easily erode. And uh, that's our walk up there. See if I can make any contact from up there on the walkway. You'll see that when we get there. Okay, here we are. Come to the steps. The rocks which form the uh, the breakwater for the sea uh, are not English or British even. They came from Norway. It's the only source of rock closest. It's the source of rock closest to us. There are absolutely no rock at all really in this area for miles and miles around. So keep off the rocks, which I will do. I will just go up a bit. Get hold of the handrail. Coming up. Well, amazing. I walked up here and 20 meters has gone completely dead. Completely dead. Not a signal on it. Uh, <laughs> I thought it was a rig. Anyway, uh, actually, this four meter whip is, is, is tuned by the aircraft, by the tuner in the aircraft, and uh, tuned onto 40 meters and uh, 40 meters is a line. So I'm quite relieved that it's not my rig. Anyway, I'm going to go QRT now. I've got to walk back up 
to the top there, back to the above the cliffs to where the uh, I don't know whether you can see it here with the uh, with the sun. I'll put the sun over there with the sun and uh, back to where that person is. Is he <laughs> I think he's got a radio or he's got some kind of a radio. That chatty there. So we're going. We'll have a walk up and have a chat with him. Anyway, that's it for me for the time being. Well, here we are again at the top of the cliff, puffing a bit. This is why I go lightweight, better <laughs> pedestrian mobile, don't go QRO. And the chappy who had the, what I thought was a radio, it is a radio, radio control, he's flying a model sailplane. It's just over there, it's just landing. It's just gone. No, it's coming round again. There it is. Right, time to disrobe with the gear, maybe treat myself to a drink.